Hey, welcome to Gangsters Chef Aspen this week, lads. We're doing cunts. Oh, I'm going to a party tonight. I'm trying to talk the boys into it. That, that's a bit of an upper class one for Stone. We're going to a chick's house, so we're going to make some peppermint slice that my man Ben used to make, but my dad held out and wouldn't give us the recipe for this episode. So I just grabbed one out of the book. So what we're going to do is get 125 grams of butter, quarter of a cup of sugar, and a third of a cup of coconut powder. So it's got a bit of lumps in it. So we're just going to quickly sift that in. Sift that in and get the lumps out. Just press your fingers on the lumps and maybe go through. Now that goes onto the stove and we'll then show you what happens. Okay, so now we've got it on a real low heat. And we just got to sit here and stir it in until sugar dissolves. So you can't go away. You just got to play with the butter. Now that's all melted down. And we got a nice shine and the sugar's dissolved. We're going to get an egg and put that in a bowl. Make sure no egg shell. And we're just going to twist that up lightly. And now we're going to add this to the chocolate and it's going to thicken the mixture, the coconut cargo mixture. So we're just going to pour that in. And we've got some water boiling for our chocolate at the end. So now I'll pour that in and I'm just letting it thicken right up. Okay, now we're going to chuck a third of designated coconut. Um, I'll just quickly see how much. Be about a cup and a third of, we've just got this Bratzelina biscuit and crushed it up from my hunnets. So that's a cup and a third in the biscuit base and we've got finely chopped walnuts, Australian walnuts. So we'll mix that in and give that all a big mix. Yeah. Just on, yep. Yeah. Now we poured that mixture into a lot lime baking tray and if I didn't hold it so far. Anyway, we poured it in and now we made the bottom of the biscuit so you just want to pat it out till it's all nice and even. So now we're going to go and make the next layer on our dish. We're going to make the peppermint base. So we've got um, two cups of flour. We just need to sift through again. And we're just going to put that in. Two cups of ice and sugar. Sift that through. Might have to stir it because it's a fair bit. The ice and sugar is pretty done. Now we're going to put in that nice ice and sugar. Just like break it up because it's nice and soft. 75 grams of butter. And just break it up into pieces. And then 50 ml of milk. Okay, now you'll mix this and it will just adjust. You might have to add a bit more milk just to it, it's a nice thick. So I'll just quickly munch this up here as you can see and the butter's going through. Now 
we we couldn't find I couldn't find any peppermint, so I just got some normal mint that I've cut up, just normal mint. I'm gonna drop that in there. Then I'm gonna put some peppermint in essence, just a little bit, and a little tiny bit of green food dye coloring. And we'll whisk that quickly up. Maybe added a bit too much essence because she's gone really, really green, this one. Oh, that smells nice. Fucking getting high off peppermint. Lucky we didn't put no marijuana because I can't put a pen on the marijuana episodes unless I go to someone else's house. So, anyone donating the house for us to put marijuana recipes will be really appreciated. So we're just going to tip that over. Get it all out. Stop all. Okay, now this is going to go in the fridge for two hours. We're going to go up to the RSL, get a bit blind, and then I'm going to come home, do the chocolate topping for it, and then we'll be nearly ready to go and test it out at this party. Okay, so now we've had the slice in the um, fridge for two hours and it's all gone nice and hard so we're going to just put that aside and we've got three quarters of a cup of chocolate drops we're just going to put that in a thick base pan and then put that on the heat just the low heat and just stir it till she melts Okay, now we're gonna. Okay, so now we're gonna tip that chocolate onto the top of our cake because it's cooled down enough. And we're going to get our back of our spoon and just smear that all over the top. If you want, you can do a bit more chocolate and have it really thick. Now we've laid that, I'm just going to put it in the fridge for another 20 minutes and let the chocolate settle and then we'll come back, slice it, plate it and go to the party. Okay, I'm all dazzled up and looking like a million bucks in my Zoo York shirt. We're going to take that slice out of the... Pull back the paper. Okay, then we're just going to trim, well, I might do this upside. Trim the edges off. And cut a slice. chocolate but chocolate cheap pet of lemons phase 1
I grab the henny and twist the top Guzzle it, that's when the reaction starts I split the chalk with the Dutch Add the hash and the greenery Then the L gets sparked Keith Murray's never smoking on Babbitt Niggas give me